What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. We're back baby and uh, I've made some moves off camera since the last episode. So really we were kind of a bit of a stalemate. Like all the animals that I want to do in the future apart from a couple of different species of monkeys and, and gorillas and apes and stuff like that all need tons and tons of conservation credits to be able to unlock. And uh, I just basically fast forwarded quite a bit. So we're a few years ahead of where we were. You guys can see it is currently the 12th of January and the year of 38. So we've been open for 38 years in this zoo so far, which is kind of crazy. But um, you guys can see we have been making money. We're up to $526,000, got a half a mil in the bank. And uh, more importantly, we've got 2,700 conservation credits. So let me pause this real quick. I'll tell you guys basically what's happened. We've, um, we, we had some more black bears that were born, we released them to the wild, and then actually both of our black bears died, so we got rid of them and got new ones in. We've uh, we've released some of the hippos, I think both aardvarks died, so we replaced them. All of our African wild dogs died, which was not good, and they just kind of stopped having babies and stuff, so we've got to be more careful about that in the future. If we take a look, we actually have some really good genetics on these guys that are, are in here now. I just bought them a second ago. They were actually just delivered. So, I mean, size and longevity, not great there, but we always have good fertility on all four of these. So hopefully we can start to build up a, a pretty significant, um, pretty significant, you know, basis of them and get like 10 or 20 of them that are just constantly churning out babies before we actually end up releasing to the wild. So we've got those. I mean, our African buffalo aren't really doing too much. Our Jimsbach, as always, have been going crazy. Uh, the tortoises have been having babies, but we haven't released any yet. And uh, the flamingos are growing by the day. How many flamingos do we have in total right now? 32. We started with like five or something like that. So overall, all in all, looking pretty good. Honestly, our crocodiles are by far the most promiscuous. We've got 18 crocodiles in here, which is absolutely insane. We've released a couple of those, but uh, our boy over here has uh, has been going ham. Pazuki, where is he at in, uh, in his, his lifespan? He's actually about to become elderly, which is a little bit concerning. Let me check our Zoopedia here. I mean, he'll he'll have babies all the way up until he dies, which is 72. So even though he's elderly, he's still gonna have babies, but we definitely wanna think about saving a male and a female to uh, to continue the, uh, the line, I guess you could call it. So we've got all those. And then most importantly, we've got some lions that have been, uh, have been maturing, I guess you could say. So you guys can see we actually have two male lions now, which I don't think this is gonna work out. If we check out their social, Okay, that's that's weird because if you look at their Zoopedia, you'll see that they oh no they like two two to four males in a bachelor, but they like one male and up to twenty nine females in a group. So maybe we're okay so far. I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see what happens. This is being a little uh it's being a little laggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart this and uh, we're gonna adopt some new animals. Okay, so I've got this set up to, to look for conservation credits listings that are 1,700 or less. So we've got almost 3,400 in here. I'm thinking if we can get at least one male and one female, be able to breed them, move forward. That's kind of what we're looking for. So we've already got lions. I think eventually we may expand the lions. We may have a second lion habitat with maybe like albino lions only or just like more lions in general. But I don't want to do that yet. Obviously, we want to add something new. So it looks like we do have Western Lowland Gorillas. We really need to be careful here and make sure that we're watching for fertility genes and make sure that we get these good genes because we're going to be spending a ton of credits on whoever we find here. So looks like lions are kind of dominating it so far. I know elephants are like eight to 10,000 credits. So eventually we're going to have to get up there, but we aren't quite there yet. Looks like we do have some Bengal tigers, which could be kind of interesting. Adaya here actually has some super solid stats apart from her size and she's fairly cheap. This guy's got some pretty good stats apart from size. All right. I mean, tigers, tigers, tigers are possible. I'm, I'm going to go ahead uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save a Daya for now. Let's let's keep her in our back pocket in case we end up liking her. How much was she? She was 1349. Looks like we've got another female here. Ooh, this is a good female for 1014. A Didi. I actually like her better better than a, a, a Adya, a Daya, whatever you want to call it. And then this guy actually has good stats as well, but he's a little bit smaller. Hmm. Or there's a cheetah. 
Um, Piotr, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and keep an eye on you as well, brother. Rushi here is a, uh, he's an albino Bengal, which could be kind of interesting. It kind of feels like we're, we're leaning towards the Bengals, huh? We've got, we've got a lot of cool options for Bengals, and they're right there in our wheelhouse, right where we need them to, uh, to be in terms of, of price. Oh, Daksha right here, dude. She is straight across the board looking fantastic, but she's also a little bit older. Let me see if we look in their Zoopedia. This is, this is really important. So we can see life expectancy is 15 years. They mature at four years and um, yeah, okay. So we want them like around four years old, but definitely not close to 14 and they want to be one to two years old. All right, let me, let me go back to our animal trading. Let me see our favorites. Let's see, let's see what we can find here. Okay, so our favorites aren't really working. All right, what we're going to do instead is let's go back. We're going to look for, uh, we're going to look for Bengal tigers only Bengal tigers and then we're going to say that we can have cash or we can have credits up to uh up to around 15 or 1600 so we'll we'll take a look at this and see what we can find okay vancha here's a beast she's got fantastic stats i i don't ooh so is shavishina here i'm i'm gonna go for it vancha adopt ah somebody got it from underneath us i'm gonna go for Shivanch then. How old? 4.2 years. Can we get him? We got him. All right. So now we need a female. We need a female. Shoot. Vansha would have been perfect there. Dude, this is kind of stressful. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, Vansha's still here. No longer available for adoption. Let's refresh the list maybe. It's not letting us get her. Ooh, what about Daksha down here? Adopt. Boom! We got it, baby. Two brand new Bengal tigers and we honestly stayed a little bit under budget. So that's perfect. All right. So where are we going to put the Bengal tiger. So I was thinking about it and I was trying to think about some of the, the future big animals we're gonna get. So elephants are obviously a big thing and like cheetahs and stuff like that, like stuff that you would find out in Africa. I kinda wanna make this the Africa section of the zoo. It starts with the lions and then you move into the elephants and everything else. Then I was thinking we could have like Bengal tigers and pandas and stuff you would find over in Asia and another section of the zoo. And then we're also gonna need a cold section of the zoo because we're gonna be able to get polar bears, Arctic wolves and stuff like that. So uh, I'm thinking, I mean, the Komodo dragons are kind of, maybe maybe we should start sending people out this way, you know what I mean? Our, the Komodos are from Indonesia, so I mean, it's it's close to, you know, mainland Asia where you would find some of the, the tigers and, and pandas and stuff like that. So I feel like that's kind of a soft entry into it, into the land of Asia, and then we can have our... Uh, we're gonna have our Bengal tigers. I'm excited about this, dude. Yeah, I mean these guys, these guys are, are very close together. So I think I think that's gonna be perfect. It's gonna make us a little bit better themed. Obviously, we could have thought about that with everything else. You know, we could have had the African buffalo over in Africa and stuff like that. Technically, we could move them eventually, but I also don't want to change up our zoo. I am fond of our, our setup so far. So I'm thinking maybe this big thing right here is going to end up being our Bengal tigers. So I'm going to start with our path here. And I'm thinking, I mean, we could, how big do we want this to be? I guess we could go like something like here. And uh, let's let's have some fun with this. I'm thinking that we, we raise it up a little bit. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to bring it around like this. And then we can level it off. I'm actually gonna bring it around like this, just to give it a bit of difference, you know what I mean? So we're gonna have it come like that. All right, not bad. Actually, we probably want to expand this path a bit. So let's send it out this way first. Bam, something like that. All right, I just, I like having a little bit of elevation. I like having a, a chance to be able to look down on these guys and, and kind of get a different perspective. So that's, that's gonna be a pretty cool and pretty big um, enclosure for them. Let me check. I mean, we want to go into our Zoopedia here. Take a look at the Bengal tiger. So we need a grade three fence, climbable, more than 10 feet tall. Wow. So that's kind of crazy. They're going to want at least 705 square meters of land. They don't need any water. I definitely do think I want to do water. They don't need any climbing, but I think we're going to make some fun little logs and stuff for them to be able to climb across they like tropical temperate and grassland. Okay, cool. Um, this this should be interesting. All right, so a 10-foot grade 3 fence. I believe grade 3. Oh, we can we can go with a wooden fence. I was going to say I thought it was going to be something a little bit stronger than that, but I guess we can go with a wooden fence here. 
and um, we're just we're just gonna make this happen. Actually, let's let's go glass so we can make it curved. And we're just gonna kind of kind of curve it along this thing. Make sure that it matches up. Don't want it to be too too far off. You know, something like this. Don't want it to be underneath it either, because if you get underneath it, then you can't raise the height of the fence like we're obviously gonna have to do. Bring it around like that, and then we can straighten her out. We can bring it straight down this way, right along this thing. Kind of bring it on around this way, just like so. Looking pretty good so far. This is, I'm excited for this, dude. I think this is gonna be one of our, one of our better ones for sure. So we've got this, now we can just kind of straighten it out all the way to the very ends, just like that. All right, so now we've got our enclosure. We're gonna select our entire thing. And I think we're gonna make it wood and we're gonna have to raise the roof, baby. So we're gonna go up, I guess, you know, three meters. We'll make it, we'll make it four meters tall. I think four meters is gonna be safe enough. So we'll go, we'll go up to four. Just like that, we need to make sure that uh, one part of it is climb proof. That's the correct part right there. And then we could also add some one way glass, which it looks like, it looks like the one way glass is on the wrong side. How do you, how do you change that? Ah, ah, you could change the side here. So we've had one-way glass unlocked for a couple of episodes now. I knew, I, I've seen comments of you guys saying, hey, some of the animals are getting stressed to add the one-way glass. I didn't know how to add it to the correct side. So bam, that way we can see in, they cannot see out. And honestly, it would probably do us well for all the animals that tend to get a little bit stressed. I'm thinking the, the bears tend to get a bit stressed. The, uh, oh, definitely these guys. Let's let's definitely do these guys. We're gonna add the one-way glass. Uh, as well as the aardvarks, they, they have a, a bit of an issue. So we're gonna turn on one-way glass, and then if we go into our settings, we can change the side to, uh, to be on the correct side. Bam, so that, that should help out with some of, our, um, some of our stress issues with some of the animals. So like with this, we can, uh, we, should, we should make it all one height. We can make it all one height, that's not gonna hurt anything. And then we should be able to do one-way glass and we're gonna do it on uh, on the correct side. I'm actually gonna try to I'm gonna try to match the height of the the bear enclosure next to it, and we turned it into to brick so that uh, it looks all uniform over here. We've got the brick for the hippos, we've got the brick for the yard varks and everything else. All right, so that that should be a big help. I'm really glad we got that figured out. But anyway, back to our little enclosure here. So where is I guess our nearest staff area is over here. So I think the best spot for a habitat gate is gonna be right like so. If we can get it anywhere in here. Just like that, quick and easy access. All right, looks good to me. And uh, cool, so we now have our habitat. Let's see our space. We've got 2,500 square meters, which is gonna be plenty enough for these guys. And I'm envisioning something pretty cool with like, you know, obviously a big rock barrier around the outside and, and kind of, you know, over here on this side underneath the, the walkway and stuff. But I also, I want a lot of, of verticality. I wanna make them a little cave. I wanna have some little hills with like bridges of, of fallen trees across it and, and cool things like that. So we're, um, we're gonna get to work. Shoot, this is, is this right? Some some of these are wrong. See, like, why why is this one wrong? You guys see how this one's wrong? That doesn't make any sense. I got a waterfall off the Steam Workshop thinking that it was it was gonna look good for this enclosure because I definitely want a waterfall. Holy mother of macaroni! <laughs> what? Like, it, it looks good. It's got a lot of the tropical plants and and cool stuff that they would actually like, but that that is that is way too big. That's a $38,000 waterfall. Okay, something something like this may actually work a little bit better and it it might it might even be perfect to be honest. We've got to get it in a good spot where it's not it's not too tall that it's going to be blocking the view. But um yeah, something something like that might be kind of cool. It's going to cost us 11,000, but bro, that's dope. That looks really good. I'm I'm going to I'm going to situate this a little bit better. We may change up this path a little bit just to make sure it stays tall enough, but I, I like that. Okay, so this this is looking a little bit better, and honestly, we have more, more you know, high up real estate here to be able to look down on these guys, which is cool. So we've got this. Now what we're gonna do is, I think we've gotta grab our terrain tool, and let's make, I say we make like a little, a little pool at the bottom of this that all the water is kind of flowing into. Let me see what this looks like. Maybe something, something like that is kinda, kinda cool. 
I don't want it to be too big though. We might have gone too big there. Let me let me see something something like that. So, uh, I feel like that looks pretty nice. You know, if we if we hit play here, the water's falling down into it. All right, so we've got that there. But then I, I want kind of like a little snaking river type thing or something. I don't know. Let's let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. We're gonna want to make it a little bit smaller though, and we're gonna kind of have the the river. Oh shoot, we gotta get rid of this water first. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So we want to have this. Uh, we want to have the river kind of, kind of snake this way, and then maybe snake this way a little bit. You know, something, something nice like that. How's that look? Hmm. See, I don't want it to be all water though. Is the problem? You know, I'm thinking maybe, maybe we don't need it. You know, if, if we've got, if we've got the the pond here, I don't know how much they're actually gonna swim. Maybe we just make them more like climbable areas and stuff. I don't know. I just, I want to make this terrain kind of a little more exciting than than we've had in the past. Is kind of my idea. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up some little hills, and I want to like connect those hills with. Uh, with logs and stuff, you know what I mean? Make like little little valleys and stuff. See, I, I, I feel like we're, we're starting to kind of come together a little bit here. I, I know, I, I have a vision. I know you guys might not be seeing it yet, but I feel, I feel like this is starting to look a little bit nicer. I think one thing we need is we need to paint a ton of grass on here. And honestly, one thing that I kind of, I, I regret a little bit of choosing the biome that we did is that the, the grass in Africa is just not beautiful. Like I, I really want, very beautiful bright green grass and we aren't going to get that because we chose to put our zoo in africa i wish there was a way we could just straight up like pick the zoo up and move it i don't think that's possible but um yeah i feel like we we killed we killed some of the beauty when we chose coming here to africa i mean it's it's beautiful there's just a lot of brown and even the grass is a little a little bit brown underneath you know what I mean so um, I guess that's just something we're gonna have to deal with all right so we've got this going on so far now I guess let's go ahead and get these guys in here and then we're gonna see what kind of coverage and stuff they want obviously these temperate rocks are gonna have to go we're gonna have to change those out for some more like tropical looking ones and stuff but uh, I guess first things first is let's go ahead and uh, let's move our two tigers in here no dude no, 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 no. You guys probably saw it before I did. Oh my God, we adopted a tiger. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. We adopted a tiger that's about to die. Somebody, somebody hoodwinked us. Our female is, a, is at the very end of her lifespan. Oh man, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, we've got lions fighting for alpha status. Oh, this is not good. I mean, I kind of, I kind of low-key want to watch this a little bit. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Dude, these guys are so cool. Which one's, which one's dad? This is Obataye. He's 8.4 years old. And then we've got Chuyoke. Okay, so these are both the brothers. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, if we get rid of one of these guys, is that going to help us out? Let me check genetics. Ooh, he's got fantastic genetics. So does he though. 91, 66, 83, 83. 91, 183, 66. I'm going to say let's keep him. I'm going to try sending him to the Trade Center for now. And let's let's see if that... Does that fix the issues? Does that fix our social issues here? That fixes our social issues. All right. So that's good. But that doesn't fix the fact that we just blew like 1,500 trading credits on this tiger that's not even not even going to be able to, to show up for us. Oh, this is... Dude, I'm... I'm a little upset. I can't believe I, I was looking at all the the you know what's it called the the um we got the oh my achievement lions and tigers and bears oh my we have all three of them but I was looking at the the genes and the the you know whether they were male or female and everything else so closely I didn't really pay attention to what was going on with the uh, with the age so it says. Life expectancy is 15 years. They can have babies. They don't even know when they become sterile. All right, we're, we're gonna put put her back in the trade center. And I, I honestly, I think I'm gonna put her back up for sale. Okay, so yeah, we put her back up for sale. Honestly, man, I mean, maybe somebody else is gonna have a better idea of what to do with her. I feel bad. I'm just gonna try to get some of my credits back out so we can end up getting another one. I don't I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it happen. I, I got hoodwinked, man. I. I didn't even get hoodwinked. I just wasn't paying attention. So make sure you guys pay attention to that if you're playing at home. But um, 
We could at least take a look at this dude and uh, and see see what he's thinking. So, oh, oh, he's injured. Why is he injured? That's odd. He's not limping too hard or anything like that, but it says he's injured. Did it? Is that why we found such a cheap one? Is because he was injured? Let me let me call the vet. We're gonna get the vet in route over here, but let's let's at least keep building this terrain and, and hopefully we can add a new female in at the end. So we need some hard shelter. We need some uh, more long grass and soil. Rock isn't bad either. All right, so they don't really like the short grass that much. So let's let's get let's get to working on this. All right, so that's looking pretty good. We've got some some soil over. This is gonna be their shelter in this corner, and then we've got our little ponds, and then we've got grass up on top of the hills, which I feel like kind of makes sense. They get the water and most sunlight and stuff. I I don't know. I'm just kind of making things up. So we want more coverage. Asia, tropical, temperate, and grassland. I guess these temperate rocks are gonna work, so that's nice. So we're gonna take a look at uh, at nature. We're gonna be heading on over to uh, tropical, temperate, and grassland on the continent of Asia. And let's see, let's see what we can find. Actually, before we do that, I think I'm gonna start with building their, uh, building their little enclosure here. So we're gonna make them a, a nice little cave. It should be good for them and uh, should give them some, some nice hard shelter from the elements. All right, guys, so I've got some fantastic news. First of all, our uh, our new heart shelter is set up. It looks nice, you know, kind of all themed along with the waterfall, and it actually counts. So if we take a look at his happiness in terms of habitat, he's got his, uh, his heart shelter down there, which is good. The other even better news is the fact that our girl did sell. We, we got... 1500 conservation credits back out of her. So I hopefully whoever bought her actually knew what they were doing, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So what we want, and, and let me let me make sure here, let me just double check. It's a Bengal tiger, right? Yes. So we wanna come in here and we wanna look at Bengal tigers who are females and we wanna try to get the best one possible. So let's refresh this list. Can we, we can't, okay. We just need to look at the age and make sure we only choose a good age. So here, no immunity gene, but good everything else. That's actually pretty solid. Um, we've got not really great on fertility there. I'm looking for 4.1 year olds. Size and longevity are down. Size is down. Okay, all right. This one's kind of a jack of all trades, does nothing great, but others aren't bad. This one's immunity is down. Okay, we, we've got to find, we've got to find the right one here. Ooh, ooh, I'm thinking about this, but fertility is not really great. Oof, what about this one? 4.1 years, yes, adopting, we got it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move her in here and oh my goodness, Disaster averted, crisis averted. That could have been so bad, dude, but uh, all right, cool. So we're looking pretty good so far. Obviously we want some plants. Oh, one thing we definitely wanna do is get some vets researching on this new uh, this new species that we have on the Bengal tiger. So we're gonna get Brianna on that. And uh, let's see, so terrain's good. We need more plant coverage and more appropriate plants. And I think that's, that's pretty much that's pretty much about it. Obviously, enrichment, food, water, that sort of thing. But uh, all right, sounds good to me. Speaking of water, we don't have a water treatment plant in this area, so we are gonna have to keep an eye on that, unfortunately. But we're gonna be able to make it work and uh, cool. So let's focus on plants. Back to nature. Let's see what they like. Okay, so we've got lots of you know bushes, big trees, stuff like that. We're gonna be able to have some fun with this. All right, so I'm I'm gonna start off with the logs. You guys know I was wanting to make a log bridge. I don't think that's gonna work. So we might have to go to habitat and we might take a look at some of the, the climbable things and we'll just make them like a little climbable bridge across here. I feel like that's gonna be, that's gonna be kind of fun. So build this thing up. Something like that I feel like is kind of cool. And then of course we're gonna have to grab our terrain tool and, uh, and pull up, oh, that's a little bit too much. Probably make that a little bit smaller. But if we, if we pull up the terrain to that, That'll, that'll be pretty cool. So we've got like a little walkway for them there. Kind of cool. Now we need, uh, I mean, this is this is where things are gonna get kind of kind of crazy. This is where you can kind of go all out. I'm obviously gonna want a lot of these cool little trees all over the place. 
So I'm gonna throw these guys in. We've got these little ferns that we could put down. Obviously these would kind of thrive over here where all this water's coming out. They'd have lots of uh, lots of nutrition and sunlight and stuff. So those those look pretty, pretty good as is. What else are we working with? I know we've got some bamboo. We could set up some bamboo, which could be kind of interesting. Maybe like a little, little bamboo tree up here. We don't want to get too too crazy with it because we do want people to be able to actually see them. I'm kind of thinking of setting up some some bamboo over in this corner. Something like that is kind of cool. Get some different flavors in there. We could throw this this dead stump down here, kind of in the water, overturned a little bit. You know, something something like this, kind of laying laying down, might be kind of interesting. Actually, I think I want to. Oh shoot, I want to turn it about like that. Looks kind of cool. So we've got that laying in there. We could get some some reeds down in the waterfall for sure. We just want we want a lot of a lot of coverage here. Ooh, cherry blossoms might be kind of interesting. Give it a little bit of little bit of color. I'm gonna put a cherry blossom there instead of that banana palm. These guys are from Asia after all. So are there any other? I mean, yeah. There's a few different types of cherry blossoms we can do. So we can kind of add add a bit more color, which is nice. I'm gonna put one there. I also, uh, honestly, I really, I, I like all the, the green though. Like I feel like the green looks really, really nice. So I'm tempted to kind of, kind of go all out on that. Obviously palm trees are always beautiful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some palm trees in where we can, can see fit. We've got those little banana palms, but the big palm trees look nice. We could put cypress trees in. Ooh, we've got lilies. Let's definitely put some lilies in here. They might like, like some little, little lilies to look at. We'll grab a couple of different couple of different kinds. Something like that looks pretty good. Yeah, look at that. We've got one one big one over there and then we'll we'll make another little one over here and we'll just kind of try to make them look a little bit different. Look a bit natural. This one might have kind of a a bit of a string to it. All right, we've got that there. We've got fountain bamboo which we could throw in over here. I'm just trying to make this like a little a little jungle area over here. They won't really be able to access it, but at least it's going to look cool. So that's kind of cool. We could throw down, you know, some more of this throughout here. Maybe have some of this coming out, kind of like moss or something where the water's coming out. That's that's kind of cool. All right, I like I like where we're headed here. Maybe put this underneath the palm tree. Oh shoot. It's a little, do we have a smaller one? Yeah, oh man, it's sticking through the rocks. I want it to be underneath that palm tree. Ooh, gilder rose bushes, these are kind of cool. We've got some vertical ivy. Oh yeah, dude, we gotta do it. This is this is gonna look cool. So I'm gonna set this up so that we can kind of hang it, hang it from here. Do we have anything bigger? Cause I do feel like it's gonna take a long time to get this set up. And it's gonna look it's gonna look kind of kind of silly if it's all the same thing back and forth. So I'm I'm just gonna do it in a couple of different couple of different places. We can kind of, oh, we can't do that. Even kind of have it hanging, hanging from the ceilings a little bit, but we definitely want to change up the, the angle that it's hanging so it doesn't get too repetitive. So maybe, maybe little things like that. Do we have any other cool vines or anything? I feel like something, something like that is kind of cool. All right, we're, we're working with it. Kind of bring this one over here. We can move it and then make it a little bit shorter like that, kind of behind the other vine. We've got little things like, oh, this is cool. I don't know why these are always in such a weird angle, but if we bring this, we bring this over here, you can kind of have it set up like this, not too shabby. Cool, we're, we're working with it, dude, we're working with it. How are we actually looking so far? We haven't seen what we're, what, what he's thinking of. Enrichment's bad, but it looks like environment and coverage are actually looking pretty good. It could be better, so we're gonna keep adding some, but dude, this this is actually a, a pretty cool little enclosure, I'm not gonna lie. We haven't even been through all the, the bushes yet either. We've got scaviola bushes. We've got, ooh, a tamarind tree. That's gonna add some nice color. I'm gonna go ahead and throw throw a little, little tamarind in. Hopefully people are actually gonna be able to see past all of these, uh, ooh, actually, I, th I feel like the tamarind looks kind of nice over here. I'm gonna put tamarind trees inside the bamboo. Does that look dumb? I feel like it looks kind of cool. Makes it look like an entirely new type of, of tree, you know what I mean? We've got, ooh, wisterias? What do you do with this? Is this a tree? I mean, it looks pretty cool. I could definitely, definitely throw this in a couple of spots. Ooh, you know what? We could even, we could, we could throw some of these vines and stuff 
Where is it? Uh, right here. We could throw some of these along this thing here. So we could kind of kind of throw it on the, the little walkway bridge thingy that they have. I really don't know why the vines are always, they always spawn like totally not anywhere where you would like them. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're, they're angled at really weird angles. So I'm gonna try to try to get this guy to line up. Bam, something like that. All right, we've got a couple of, couple of little things there. We could grab some of these small nettles and kind of place these, you know, that's, that's a little bit big. I was thinking kind of kind of place them along the edges just to make that look a little bit nicer. So we've got that. We've got some long nettle that we could line. I mean, if we wanted to line like the inside of this, we could. Would that look pretty good? I don't think I'm gonna line it, but I do think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in in certain little areas just to give them a a little more greenery at home. You know what I mean? So we can just kind of kind of throw some in, get one of the smaller ones, put it back in here. You know, maybe maybe have a little nettle bush that's growing over here. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty nice. I like this palm tree. He's a little bit crooked, but that's all right. You're still good in my book. So we're going to throw him down there. I actually, I, I really like that. I haven't really seen that yet. So I'm going to, I'm going to use a couple of him coming out of the bushes and stuff. We definitely need more bushes. You know, some of these Gilder Rose bushes and stuff are pretty nice. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we kind of I don't know, set, set some of these up throughout. I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like it turned out pretty nice, dude. This this seems like a really fun little area to hang out. Let me check out his environment. We're up to 100% on plant coverage. Terrain is good. I mean, everything except for enrichment and, and food quality and stuff is good, but that's gonna come with, with a little bit of time. So let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play here. And we're we're gonna bring in his little his little female sidekick, Nihirika. Let's let's go ahead and move you in here, girl. Oh, look at him. He's he's just swimming around having a grand old time. Hold on, let's get out of here. Let me let me see this guy. How are you liking it? Oh shoot. One thing. Whoa. Oh, the vets the vets grab. I was gonna say what what's happening? Why why are you taking him away? But no, the, the vets grabbing him. But yeah, listen to this, dude. This is super tranquil. And I feel, I feel like it actually turned out pretty cool. Like these guys are gonna be able to walk across this little thing. They're gonna be able to play in their little cave. They're gonna be able to kind of explore all these bushes, you know, maybe go hop in this bamboo, elder rose, all this kind of stuff over here, kind of dig around a little bit. I feel like this is actually gonna be pretty cool. Now we are missing a few of the necessities. We don't have any food or water set up yet. So we definitely do have to do that. I'm gonna come into our habitat here and let's look at food and water. So we need to look for the uh, the Bengal tiger. So I'm gonna go with a large food tray and where where do we wanna keep the food tray? I'm kinda tempted to put the food tray right here. So we'll have something something like that, not bad. I guess we can grab our, we can grab our terrain and, and kinda smooth that out a bit, just like that. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be a cool, that's gonna be a cool thing for the food tray. And let me make sure there's gonna be, Temperature, water, power. Um, I want to see traversable area in the habitat. It looks. Oh, you can't. We need an animal to be able to select. You guys have been telling me down in the comments that you can see traversable area. So, like over here, we had an issue with these guys. Let me select this animal. It looks like they they can't get through that. That's the problem. Okay. So that's why we weren't getting the hard shelter in the last one. We need to, to check to make sure that they're gonna be able to get up to this food and make sure everything is uh, everything is hunky-dory there. Now for water, I say let's let's put the water maybe over over here could be kind of cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about if people are, are gonna be able to really see them or not. Obviously, if you're up here, you're gonna be able, able to see them well, but down here, you kind of have a lot of hills in front of you, so you, you probably, Probably should have thought about that, but we'll put some toys and stuff out here to make sure that they, they end up walking by. So let me see, is there anything? I mean, we know they're gonna like cardboard boxes because they're cats, so we're gonna go with that. Um, there's climbable logs. We could go with a fire hose ball that we could put over here. Um, I didn't even check to see if they want a heater or a cooler, so we're gonna have to check that out eventually. Prey scented snack, I'm gonna put that like up here. Looks pretty good, kind of flatten things out a little bit, but that's fine. Um, a scratching post, ooh, that would be kind of fun to watch. So I'm gonna set that over there. And then I guess we could put like a rubbing pad maybe over on this thing, kind of over towards here. Could be kind of interesting, get them out in the water, 
Get him playing around. Pinata Enrichment. We could throw that. Ooh, let's throw that up on top of this bridge. Could be kind of an interesting spot for it. So we'll put that up there. And bam! All right. I think... I think they should... They should be looking pretty good. We've got to get both of them back in here. Ooh, we've got some, some rewards we can claim. Cleanliness is a disease risk. I'm going to call our keeper over for that. But I think... Uh, ooh, we've got some crocs that are maturing. Hold on a second. That's actually probably going to cause some problems. We've got some boa constrictors having offspring. Socially, these guys might start to go down because there's two males. Uh, we got our new Bengal tiger in the zoo. Let's see how she likes it. Diseased animal discovered. Bro, what? Vet's already been called. They've got Bordetella. All right. Things, things, all of a sudden when we unpause, things start going crazy. I want to focus. Let's take a look at, take a look at our new, new tiger right here. Oh, you're so cute. I like you. I hope you like your new habitat. I went through a lot to try to get you. I ended up adopting the wrong tiger at the wrong time. But that's okay. Dude, this, look at this. That is insanely beautiful. I think we've outdone ourselves here, fellas. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is, this is great. Look at her. Just check it out, the waterfall. Okay. Let me, let me check and make sure that not everything is, is going bad. Looks like we do have some some things going bad. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Make sure we're quarantining everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and call a, uh, a keeper over to give the aardvark some, some food. But it looks like we might be okay. Looks like our big boy is back in here. Dude, he is so fluffy, I love him. Look how soft he looks. Go get your woman, bro. Look at her over there. Just bathing away, looking all stuff. Can't say that word on YouTube. I was gonna say the S word, but it actually reduces your, uh, it reduces your, your ad revenue by a lot. But yeah, she's looking all fine over there. Look at that. Hopefully you guys get along really well. It seems like, uh, it seems like that's the case so far, dude. This is such a beautiful enclosure. I really love what we've done. I love that you can hear the waterfall in the background. It's super serene. Oh man. We have absolutely killed this. Looks like, yes, in fact, our crocs are upset. So let's see what we want to do with this. Basuki is currently our main male. He is getting to the point where he's elderly. Now, let me check the Zoopedia here. I'm not sure if that means that he's done. So let me check. It looks like, no, he's, he's going to be able to keep going in, until he's 72 years old, which is great. So let me check, uh, check these genetics. His genetics are not great. His genetics are a little, a little bit better, I think. Um, shoot. We honestly, if that's the case, let's, let's send Basuki to the trade center and we're just, we're, we're going to rehome him. Uh-oh. Diseased animal quarantine. We, we can't be messing around with that. A lot of our ostriches are diseased right now. But yeah, we're going to, we're going to send our, our main croc. I feel bad. He's the one that really got everything started. But, uh, I mean, he's old. We're going to go ahead and quick trade him and get the 560 bucks while we still can. <laughs> Sorry about it, bro. Oh my goodness, you're about to become elderly. So that's that's good though. That's solid. Anyway, guys, I think that's uh I think that's a good a good place to stop. But obviously, we've got a bit of a, a disease risk right now, but I'm going to take care of that. It's it's not really all that exciting. And uh man, we've got some brand new Bengal tigers who are uh, are very happy in their habitat. Obviously, they they do need a little bit better food. As we unlock better food to be able to feed them, we are going to upgrade that. But uh, hopefully, they're going to start breeding. They're going to bring in some new baby tigers. And, uh, I mean, they should bring in a lot of hype. We've got lions. We've got tigers. We've got bears. And there's a lot more to go. So, hope you guys are excited. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Let me know which animal we should add next. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.